Hello friends, welcome to my channel The Defense Update. In today's video, we will discuss about writ petition filed against anomaly of Group XP. This anomaly was created when Group X was divided into two groups with the implementation of 7th Pay Commission and lower rate of Rs. 3600 instead of 6200 being paid to trades which have qualification equivalent to diploma in engineering. We will also discuss if it is necessary for all the Group X personnel affected by this anomaly should file the case. If you want to know full details on Group X pay anomaly, I will provide a link in the description so that you can watch the full video. Now let us head towards the writ petition. This writ petition regarding Group X pay anomaly was filed by Welfare Association of Retired Naval Artificers and ANR in Supreme Court of India wide writ petition number 599-2023 and was heard by Honorable Mr. Justice Sanjeev Khanna and Honorable Miss Justice Bela M. Trivedi and following order was passed. Upon hearing the counsel, the court made the following order. We are not inclined to entertain the present writ petitions as we feel that it would be more appropriate and in fact more efficacious and faster if the petitioners approach the armed forces tribunal. Recording the aforesaid, the writ petitions are dismissed as not entertained without expressing any opinion on the merits of the case. As this matter is related to pension, the AFT is requested to take up the matter for hearing expeditiously. The retired officers will be permitted to file petitions slash applications in representative capacity. So, we should know about this representative capacity before we conclude on the Supreme Court order. Representative capacity essentially means representative suit. So, we will check what representative suit means. Representative suit under the Code of Civil Procedure 1908 means Order 1, Rule 8 of the Code of Civil Procedure 1908 deals with representative suit. A representative suit is a suit that is filed by one or more persons on behalf of themselves and others having same interest in the suit. So in this case, Group X pay anomaly is the same interest. The general rule is that all persons interested in a suit ought to be joined as parties to it. So we, before we conclude, let us see what are the conditions that should be met before a representative suit is filed. So conditions for a representative suit. There are basically four essential conditions for a party to institute a representative suit which can be derived from the provision of Rule 8 and they are, the parties are numerous. We will discuss this point further. Same interest or community of interest. So we are meeting this point. Necessary permission of court has been obtained. This point is also met. Notice to all persons interested in the suit. So this will be met when court orders that notice be given to all parties in the suit. So we will discuss on the first point, the parties are numerous. The parties are numerous. The word numerous is by no means a term of art. It implied a group of persons such as would make it convenient to implede all of them individually. The word is not synonymous with numberless or innumerable. So which means that the number should be countable. The number must be definite for the court to recognize as 
non implicated parties to the suit thus under this provision the body of persons represented must be sufficiently definite so my view is that the person aggrieved by this 3600 versus 6200 group x pay should join an organization which will in turn file the case in eft alternatively they can create their own group which can file the case on their behalf whatever is the case they have to join some organization so that they can benefit from the decision of the court this is my personal opinion i would suggest taking legal opinion from your legal advisor before you take any step in this regard with this i end this video if you would like to encourage this channel please subscribe to this channel like share comment see you in the next video till then goodbye